Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we have come out to the glorious Surrey Hills once again to do some wildlife photography. I have with me my Canon 7D Mark II and Sigma 150 to 600 millimeter lens. And today we're gonna to be walking, talking and taking loads of photos. And as you can see, the sun has come out, even though I'm now in a shaded woody area. The forecast said that it would be cloudy and overcast, so it's a little surprise for us. And it makes the long focal length of this lens slightly easier to use, and we can have the ISO slightly lower. It is the huge open areas like this field that make the Surrey Hills such a great place to come and do wildlife photography. You'll know from most of my vlogs and my walks that I go around golf courses and footpaths down canals, but you don't get the same vast open spaces that you can here. We have large fields where you can find deers, you can find birds hovering, and then you have the forests which don't even get me started on the forest, you can find so much hidden away inside those trees. And I love seeing signs like this one. It says deer trail and it points both the way we're going and the way we came from. So hopefully we'll see some deer. Now I'm not too familiar with this area. I've only recently started coming out here to do wildlife photography. So I'm sticking to the main paths, but I can see that there's a ton of side paths which you seem to be able to explore and you can probably find some awesome wildlife down there. So once I know the area a bit better, we'll definitely start doing that. But I've noticed there's a fallen tree. So I just thought I would show you guys this crazy fallen tree. Now it's a huge tree and it looks very old, so there must have been one hell of a storm to get this to fall down. signposts help you know where to go but it seems I can go anywhere to follow the deer path so I've came up the hill because I figure the higher vantage point we have the more we can see I hope I made the right decision but we won't know until we get there now it's likely that this all looks flat to you but I can tell you it's called the Surrey Hills for a reason and in a minute I've got to decide to go uphill or uphill One's a sandier path and one's a muddier path. One seems to be more in the open and the other through the wood. But I seem to have the choice of both ways. I'm gonna go through the wood. I feel like the mud will be easier to grip and go uphill with. Not that I can't do the sand. I just wanna have enough stamina to actually get to the top of this hill we're climbing. I'm not sure if you can see yet, but we are high up. I've got a little squeeze point between some heather bushes, I believe. It's kind of getting much more wild now. I feel like I'm definitely in the country. Mm -hmm. 
and we have reached St. Martha's Church here, which is at the very top of St. Martha's Hill. It's a little bit windy, but we have a fantastic view all round. I can see for miles, so I'm going to hang around up here and see if I can look down on any birds of prey, for example, soaring. I've been trying to work out which field we came from because I can see all of the dotted fields in the distance. I think it might be just out of sight, but it's awesome to have got here and let's see if we can get any photos. and we got no birds of prey, but we did get some awesome landscape photos, even though I'm using such a long telephoto lens. The fact I could zoom in to the houses actually made some really cool photos. Now I'm going steeply downhill, which is nice for the meantime, but I'm aware that I'm gonna have to come back up this hill. And I've come to my next sign, but it's slightly confusing. Looks like the deer path trail is going up this path but I've just come from down that path. I feel like this is just a lower path back up the hill. Equally, there is a sign here saying, go into the bushes, unless that means go up the path I've just come from. So I'm gonna go up this lower path and hope it doesn't take me back to the church. They're not quite dear, but I think I see some alpacas in a field a long way down in front of me. There's a little hole in the trees which frames them quite nicely, so I'm gonna take a photo and it could be quite cool. and we still had no deer. I'm looking down the hill and also up the hill behind me. I haven't seen any deer. I saw some birds miles away and I keep scanning the fields even though they're way too far away to get even the slightest chance of a photo of a deer. I keep seeing these little paths that trail down this really steep slope and I can hear a bird of prey. I'm gonna keep my eyes open for that. But I keep seeing these little paths and I really want to go down them. Now, I'm not in the right shoes today. I'm just wearing regular trainers. So maybe that's something to think about in the future. It's right there. The buzzard is right there. No, oh, it's diving. Ah! I can't, it's behind the trees. I'm gonna to have to wait for it to come up. It was just behind this tree. It dived down and I have so much foliage here. I won't be able to get a clean shot, but I'm not sure where I can go to get a clean shot. I'm gonna work back this way and hope I get an opening. But it seems to have gone down. It's gonna be a difficult one. I'm not sure if I'll get it, but I'll try. And I got a glimpse through the trees and managed to get this photo. You can't quite see, or at least I can't on the back of the camera, but he may have something in his feet. Now I said he dived down, and so I'm curious if that's prey that it's hunted. Now the buzzard, after I got that quick glance of it, flew the way we're walking. So I'm gonna keep heading this way and hope I get openings like this, where I can see the buzzards. I think that was a pigeon thought I saw the buzzard flying low. Hopefully we can see the buzzard and take a photo. And we are almost back to the car park, but I did just get a photo of a pheasant in a field. 